and welcome back everybody uh, thanks to all those new subscribers um, <coughs> more than welcome come aboard have a bit of fun may or may not learn anything uh, but this is a next project um, in effect it's a, a bits of project it's bits and pieces uh, I did a power supply uh, that went down very well uh, of um, what I had on the shelf and this is going to be a power amplifier uh, I have a case as you can see it is a iFi 2000 module shop um, 400 uh, dissipate with the heat sinks on each side uh, and we're going to squeeze in some bits and pieces and I've rifled through my shelves and my boxes and I've got various transformers big 500 VAs um, and I need one with um, some secondaries. secondary windings is a 5, 540 this is um, this is from Tiger Transformers these are very good transformers reasonably priced or were when I bought them last year might have gone up a bit uh, but I have one here which fits the bill this is uh, it's a little bit thicker um, it's a bit heavier as well uh, so this has uh, two, 240 volt in or 120 by 120 and it's seriesed up so we've got a 240 volt primary and we have two and we have we have two secondaries 35 naught 35 so that that's one secondary the two yellows are the 35 and the red one which is a center is a zero and here's the second secondary the two oranges are 35 and the white is zero volts so I'm going to use, use that one <coughs> we've got various power supplies power supply modules I've already started on the back panel as you can see uh, cut out an IEC hole speaker terminals and so that'll be going on the back like that. I've got various, let's say, various power supplies, uh, Avondale cap sixes. Uh, I've got mini cap sixes. I'll probably use some mini cap sixes like this. These are very good, very good indeed. But you could also use, if you wanted, let me just find them. You also use some conventional can type can type uh, capacitors and some rectifiers if you wanted. This is going to be a bit. Of, I don't think I don't think I could get four. I might be able to. I could get four in there out of squeeze. If you wanted to go down that road, we're not going to go down that road. We're going to probably, as I said, use these mini cap sixes. Um, we're going to run through a complete build, a bit like a three part video, so bear with me. This is part one, or the introduction, if you like. Um, this is a second hand case. Uh, it's already been, I don't know where you can see that. It has been used, it has been pre drilled on the heat sinks here to accept various. Amp modules. This is a Avondale SE230 module, which I could utilise. Uh, I've also got uh, SE200s. It might be a pair of these actually, SE200s, I think, for this application. So that'll go there. That'll go there. This is the general layout. This will be the general layout, uh, and I've got a couple. <coughs> these these aren't the ones we're going to use. This is for another project. Um, these are 80 volt, 2.2, 80 volts. So these are for something else. Um, but just to give you an idea, 
there's the sort of layout that I'm looking for. So we'll have a transformer in the middle. Mains coming in down here. Down here. The secondaries. We'll have one supplying this module. Power supply module. And a second supplying this module. And from there, we will go off and feed these two amp modules. Something like that. Might be as a layout. Something like that. Uh, I do not intend to use any speaker protection modules. I know it's the in thing. Uh, but I, I do not understand. Well, I sort of understand why. But for 40 years, mainstream manufacturers never, ever used any speaker protection. I mean, name throughout... Uh, the, the 250, the 160, the 180, the 140, they never had speaker protection. Um, and the circuit is so stable anyway, it, it's not required. So I, I'm not going to complicate it. This is just going to be a straight, as simple as simple as you can be. As an amplifier, power amplifier project. So with 35, 0, 35 secondaries through the power supply module we will end up with about 50 volts rails DC so we're going to go AC in here DC comes out this end this end we're going to have about 50 volts 50 volts plus and minus into these modules will give us around about 100 watts into 8 ohms there about might be a little bit less but around about that uh, the reason I'm using these, I've, I've, I've had these on the shelf. Um, I used them for a while and then I upgraded to uh, the SE400s. And these are, I suppose you could call audio file boards. All the components are absolutely top end. Um, we've got Z, a Z foil in here. Now, if you can see that, if it will focus, yeah. This here is a Z foil on the feedback, and here's the other end, the 560 resistor here, which is a high precision dial, Vichy dial resistor on the feedback. Um, we've got wet tant in here on the feedback, um, and everything is top notch, top quality. Um, Panasonic capacitors everywhere and uh, on semi output transistors so it's this is a top quality um, audio grade if you like I, I hate using that word audio grade but um, that's what we're going to do so this is as I say the part one uh, and we'll walk through uh, the project in part two and probably part three um, Quickly going, quickly going back to this type of power supply where you would use two of two of these. You would need some rectifiers or a rectifier to rectify it to take it from AC to DC. And the rectifier on this cap six, on this mini cap six, are here. Um, but in effect, fast recovery, low noise. So I've got my bolt that's going to go through. From the chassis up through uh, you can with this if you wanted you can buy a sub chassis and that's a sub chassis there which everything bolts to this um, that goes that way yeah everything bolts to this and this is then as you can see it's about 10 millimeters by the time it's bolted in into this case it lifts it off the floor by 10 millis and this is a much more substantial um, uh, fixing for these components uh, I might use this I might not I don't know yet I haven't decided um, I don't know whether I've got the headroom if I if I lift this transformer 10 mil I don't think I'm going to get the lid on um, I've built plenty just using this uh, steel floor uh, I think it's 1.5 millimeters thick. It's very solid, very secure. So um, I might not use that <clears throat> in this case. 
but you could if you wanted. So that's this part one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your thumbs up or whatever. Um, I'm not. I'm not into that. You know, subscribe, click, click, click. If you enjoy it, that's all well and good. If you don't, tough. Um, thank you very much for watching. See you in part two. Bye for now.